Hi, this is Chef Jen, and today we're gonna make a vinaigrette. It's one of the easiest things you can do at home, and make it once, and it'll last all week long. So in a mason jar, you can take any kind of aromatics that you'd like to use. Um, I've got a whole herb garden sitting here with some dill, some fresh parsley, and some fresh cilantro. I'm just gonna clip off a few sprigs here, give them a rough chop, Add some of my minced garlic, garlic that was made into a paste. Some salt, I always use kosher salt. Some freshly ground black pepper, and that really makes a difference rather than using the stuff that's already ground. And then we're gonna add something to help emulsify it. We're gonna add some Dijon mustard, it doesn't give a very mustardy taste, but rather it's gonna hold that dressing together and keep the oil and the vinegar from separating. Then we're gonna add some vinegar. I'm using some apple cider vinegar, and vinaigrette generally has one part acid, in this case the apple cider, to three parts of oil, and I'm gonna use some olive oil. So I'm eyeballing this, but I'm gonna add my acid a little maple syrup to sweeten it. You could also use honey if you like. About a teaspoon of that. And we're gonna give this mixture a little shake before we add our oil. And this is gonna help that salt dilute into the dressing. If we add the oil too quickly, we're not gonna get that. So you can see that it's already starting to be a little creamy. And then our mixture is ready for the oil. So as I said, it's three parts oil. You can use any kind of oil you like. This is an extra virgin olive oil, which is gonna add some fruitiness. You can add avocado oil, which is very neutral. You can add a nut oil if you like. And you can also adjust this. If you don't like anything too acidic, you can use um, more oil than you would vinegar, so a one to four ratio. So I just screw the cap onto my ball jar and I just give it a good shake. And without adding any dairy to it, so no additional fat, that Dijon mustard is making this really creamy and nice. And there you go. You can pop whatever you don't use today into the refrigerator. Just bring it to room temperature before you dress your salad. And always make sure to dress your salad right before serving so that you don't wilt all that lettuce.